This looks like a mini PC or mini computer and it is but only on the outside because it has the new Intel Core Ultra Series 2 capable of running games like Forza Horizon 5 and handling video editing. You don't need screws to open it up and upgrade and it consumes only 16 watts. This is the new Asus NUC 14 Pro AI because these days everything has to have AI. It has a fingerprint sensor here on the top which is really cool and will allow us to log in on Windows for example. It has a LED on the top lid, two USB type A 5 gigabit ports, one USB type C 4 Thunderbolt port, an audio combo jack and two buttons. One button it's easy to explain, power on and off. The other one is to summon Copilot and it's really really cool. Now I'm not sure if it's going to be used that much but I really enjoyed the detail. On the back it has a 2.5 gig Ethernet port, HDMI, USB Type-C Thunderbolt 4 and two USB Type-A 10 gigabit ports. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons. Don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper. The CPU is an Intel Core Ultra 9 288V with 32 gigabytes of RAM, 1 terabyte SSD capable of reaching 7000 megabytes per second and an integrated Intel Arc 140V GPU which we already have seen on the last Asus ZenBook that we tested here. Now it delivers impressive performance with a total of 120 tops for AI tasks and if your goal is to play games besides everything else that you are going to do with this full-fledged computer then at 1080 for example we will be more than fine and even some games at 2k. I did test that out with Forza Horizon 5 which is one of my favorites at 1080 with high presets it was capable of maintaining around 60 frames per second which is awesome but this is a mini computer with two Thunderbolt ports so it means that if if I want I can just connect an external GPU to boost the gaming performance and the level that we will achieve will depend on the GPU that we select to connect here. So if we select a 3080 Ti for example we will have a kind of performance but if we select a 5080 like we have seen a few weeks ago then the performance will be completely different. And one of the great things on external GPUs is that I don't need to invest in everything right now. I can just get the computer and then in a few months or in a year or two I can invest on the external GPU, just connect it and that is it. Now if you are wondering if it's capable of video editing, yeah more than fine. On par with the latest laptops that we have tested here, whether in editing or even on rendering. I did use the Vinci Resolve with 4K timelines and it handles everything just flawless. In terms of energy consumption it was consuming about 16 to 18 watts on idle that was the lowest that I could observe and pushing out the CPU loads up to 100% on all cores it was reaching about 50 to 55 watts which is insane in terms of efficiency considering the performance that it delivers. So as I said on the beginning of the video it's only mini on the outside and probably on the power consumption because everything else is a full-fledged desktop computer that just takes this small space on our desk or with the accessories that it has on the back of the display. And for those that don't want to use Windows, if you want to use Proxmox and then virtualize all your services, including Windows, then this, in my opinion, is a great choice. But we will do a few more tests. And if you are interested in knowing a little bit better how it behaves in Proxmox, stay tuned to the channel because in a few days I will share that info with you. Hopefully this video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George. And as always... I'll see you on the next one.